This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. Play the game at least once, okay? Right. Play. Do they give us the password? To sign in, choose your username and type your password. Mellow yellow. Oh, it gives me my password? Okay. Let's look up the password. Passwords are never directly in code, by the way. If this has them directly... Oh, yeah. There we are. <laughs> That's not how they are. They're encrypted. Well, at least I hope so. Play. All right. Boom. Okay. So now it uses that password to log in. Got it. Cool. All right. Discuss with your partner what's changed. Well, the password. And it is validating. So it must check this and compare it to, well, this. Find the else statement. That was added right here is it. And that is in the play button on event because it's going to check if the username, what is the username? Well, I can go into design mode and notice password input name drop down. Username must be a variable that grabs this password input stuff that's assigned to the password input stuff. So username, yep, get text name drop down. Okay, so it grabs this password, get text password input, which is this that we just saw. And then it checks if username is equal to lemonhead and right that means both these two and statements means both these have to be true so if the username does equal lemonhead and the password does equal lemon one two three if either of these are false this is false and it doesn't run the code inside it's a way to check two things at once right so is it rainy and sunday or i mean two and seven right two things you get to check at once so if that's their username this has to be their password if it is then go to the game screen or maybe this is their username well then this is their password if those are both of those are wrong hard de harp down scale so you're going to play a sad scale because you don't get to get into the game all right modify the app add one more username and password you need to edit both the code and the user interface fake Use a fake password. Yeah, you never put passwords directly in code like this. That would not occur. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'm going to pull this down to else. And then for the code, you can see how they did this. Let's go ahead and do it in blocks. You can also just type it in and it will pop up automatically. But first, we need an and and, so a both type of operator. And then I need a double equal sign. And if you get confused, look, equality operator, right? And 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 boolean operator okay so i need those to be equal and this and let me hide that again what okay well i need to figure out what my username might be my username will equal teacher because i'm boring now teacher needs to go in quotes because it's going to be a string it's not an actual variable it's going to be a word we're using on the screen maybe i'll capitalize it since they tend to do that and now password doesn't go in quotes because it's the variable up here somewhere password there's our variable and it's declared way up here we declare all these things and then we change what they're equal to down here you only use var once for each variable though all right password will be school cool with a capital c yeah and i almost send i need to put it in quotes all right there we are so now it's still not ready though i can hit run nope 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 no me so i have to go into design now that I'm in design, I'm going to click on the lemon head thing and I need to add one line, which was teacher. Now make sure if you put a capital T or if you have a word with a capital letter in it, it has to be exactly the same here. And the reason for that is it grabs this info right here that appears here. It grabs it and compares it. So if I don't have a capital T here, it says, uh, nope, false, 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 because if it has a lowercase t it doesn't matter that my password's right it doesn't even notice it's the same username all right so if all that happens what do we want we're going to want to set the game screen yep and allow us in so that'd be an easy function to create but we'll leave that on i'm just going to copy and paste the code from else if because it's the same as from uh the first if right because all of these do the same thing the password's valid let's let them in so again game screens in mind great let's give it a run run and i gotta choose me with the fancy name teach and school cool with a capital c and play success ah! and hopefully then if i type this is not it brr, fail 
Now, again, this isn't exactly how they do passwords. They're encrypted and stuff, but awesome. It's a really good way to demonstrate how Boolean and true-false statements work. Let's keep going. 